Welcome to At a Glance, the series where we go over a game we had recently, go over, you know, what went right, what went wrong, what could have done better, why I did things, why I threw that game, why I'm playing Clash. I feel I feel like the fact I'm Clash over here should already be a red flag for some people. I apologize for people who are going to click away already. I'm sorry to show you Clash while you were having a good day, but uh, this is a Clash video. That was, that was in the thumbnail and probably the title. I, I don't know why you're surprised by the Clash. Anyway... This was a ranked game we had recently. I know. I, I'm still playing ranked during New Blood. Fucking, fucking insane. And this was match point. We were up one. We win this. We're done. No overtime. And Border is one of my favorite maps in, in the whole game. Also an insane tank, I know. Because Border is one fucking 100% vertical. Either you play the vertical or you're going to have a really fucking bad day. Border playing very vertically is... As weird as this is going to sound, it's the reason I played Clash. So, I'm going to go ahead and immediately cut to me. And what you notice is that instead of, you know, anchoring like most Clashes do, I'm leaving. I'm leaving Sight. Which looks insane. Why would any rational Clash player leave Sight? But I have a plan here. I'm going to reinforce, I want to reinforce at least, the triple office wall. I used to... And by the time I get to this wall, my fucking, my cam is covering it. But we only have two reinforcements left, and I want to get the hatch before I get the walls. So I go for the hatch, and our warden has already used every single wall. So I am playing without walls, basically, or without hatch, basically. I put the shield here. That's a mistake on my part. I should have put it more, like, in the middle in the hall. But honestly, the way this game goes, it really, it really doesn't fucking matter. The reason I'm playing The Clash is because this map is so fucking vertical. And when you play vertically, you do have to allocate a lot of resources. You have to allocate resources towards, you know, not getting flanked over here, not getting flanked over here. You have to allocate resources to actually open hatches, which would have been nice if we had reinforcements to get the hatches. But you know how rando wardens are. So you have to allocate a lot of resources to vertical control. You know, get the hatches, get the walls, make sure you don't get flanked, etc. But you also have to allocate a shit ton of resources into getting a clash off the board. What most clashes will do is the clash will anchor on sight, and she's not really doing anything until the enemy hits sight. And by the time the enemy hits sight, hopefully they have a plan. And when they're executing that plan, part of that plan is we're going to deal with the clash X and X and X way. Or, you know, if you're copper, Clash is busted and overpowered and you should banner every game. So, the combination of vertical taking a lot of resources and having the Clash up here to make the vertical a fucking nightmare pretty much means that vertical play on border is a fucking nightmare. I've been using Clash on border a million fucking times and she just works. People don't know what to do when they see the Clash upstairs denying you the hatch. People actually don't know what to do. Like, depending on the team, this is like a free win. Especially if you have someone upstairs to help you to actually, like, go for your frags. I'm going to barricade the armory door just so I have one less place I need to look. So, I'm going to try and focus around here. I don't know why I pinged the shield. This game was a few days ago. I ping the shield for some fucking reason. My attention wants to be on office because, you know, office is right above bathroom site. And I get the call... That they're focusing on break room area? Like they're hitting vent workshop? Or not vent workshop. What's the... I can't even think of the name no, of the site no one fucking plays. It's like security storage some shit. No one ever plays that site. It's the site no one fucking plays. You know the one. So I come over here. I see sort of what they've done. They've gone break door and they're going through security. I try to keep my attention sort of on the door. I see what's going on here, and I immediately start zapping. I see the buck. I see the zero. They're going to try to push through armory through security. So I'm just going to be here and sort of pressure them. I am constantly pinging. Well, sort of constantly. I thought I was. Usually, I ping on Clash. I want to let people know what I'm looking at. I'm constantly telling the team, hey, there's two guys in security. They might push armory. I am constantly telling the team what I am seeing. I'm not trying to do the sick Clash 180 where I put my shield on my back and turn and gun them down. I'm just sort of putting pressure on them. I pull my gun out because I saw them run 
And they're probably expecting me to still have my shield up. So I do take the gun out to catch them by surprise. They're not going to expect me to have my gun out. I check office side just to be safe. And then I turn this way and I should get fried here. I get a lot of blood on the fucking, on the buck. I should have gotten fried here. Absolutely, I should, I should have lost that. Instead of re-peeking it, I'm going to take the shield out. And I'm just going to, you know, push up on the buck. Thankfully, Warden was there, but the buck would have been dead anyway because he was low as fuck. So now me and Warden are up here. I tell Warden where they are. He's a rando, so I just ping. And he does get fried by someone in Armory. I turn to see what's going on Armory. I'm not going to push Armory. Despite knowing there's someone in there, I have no fucking reason to push Armory. Pushing in as Clash is a death sentence, because you're just asking them to fucking melee the shield and then shoot your feet. Like, you should not be pushing as Clash. We're down one. It's 3v4. And at this point, you know, we're losing bodies. I get the call to come back to site, so I'm going to drop hatch and immediately try to come back. At this point, this, this round's going a lot faster than I thought it would. It's just me and Legion versus Brava Few Zero. And we have Diffuse. I don't know if anyone noticed. The Ying was trying to Diffuse on site and got melted for it. So I'm coming back to site. I'm watching my angles and being safe as I approach. Legion's sort of just setting up site. They have full vertical, which I was really hoping they wouldn't be able to get, but it is what it is. Kudos to this team. They actually played it a little smart, not hitting office immediately and sort of clearing the rest. If they hit office immediately, they would have run into me and they would have been fucked. So me and Legion are sort of on site. We have Diffuse. We don't have to play kills. We don't have to peek. We can play Diffuse. And considering one of them is downed, two of them are, you know, hurt as fuck. They really don't want to run into me. This is, this right here is Clash's biggest strength in the late game. You can basically deal free damage on Clash in the late game when everyone's already low from all the duels they've taken over the course of the game. So I can just sit here, not knowing where to sit, because site's set up weird. And I just sort of have to keep an eye on Diffuser and play safe. I have to play passive. I don't need to take my gun out for any fucking reason. I just sort of have to give intel to Legion and sort of keep an eye on where the enemy is coming so my back's not exposed. Someone calls that they're going to try and hop the uh, hop the rotate between bath and B site. Uh, there is no rotate at the time. They shotgun it out. They hop. I start zapping Brava. And I rotate around her. Because, first of all, I don't want my back exposed. That's, that's just asking. Like, let me go ahead and go to the overhead. If I were to stay in, like, around the couch between her and the doorway, someone would absolutely swing the doorway and just fry me. So I'm trying to get around her so my back is not, you know, exposed to the enemy while still zapping her. I don't know why she didn't melee me. Like, if she meleeed me, I would have been fucked. So she's dead. That's what I mean by Clash being strong in the late game because everyone's lit the fuck up from their duels. So, you know, that zap is going to be lethal. And also Legion's going to be lethal in the late game. He actually got the kill and I didn't even fucking notice. So now I'm going to sort of sit on Diffuser. This right here, this shield swap thing, completely unintentional. I actually don't know what the fuck happened. My mouse has been glitching, so I think my mouse, like, phantom scrolled and went to the gun. So I should be dead here, but I'm not somehow by some fucking miracle. I start zapping zero just to get him low. Pretty much one zap and he's gone. So he really doesn't even want to be around me anymore. So now it's just me, Fuse, Legion, and Zero at one. Zero, if Zero peeks me, he's dead. He rushes in. I get the zap and he's downed. He gets Legion. He gets Legion, but he himself gets downed by the zap. So now it's just me and Fuse in a 1v1. And if you, if it's just you and Clash in the 1v1, and you don't have, you know, nades or Capitao bolts or anything to deal with the Clash, this is basically game. So... He doesn't even try to go for Diffuser. He knows that's not going to happen. He has more health than me, but he knows that I can do damage to him for free. So he's going to try and rush me and go for, you know, the melee shoot feet. But he knows that he there's nothing he can do. Time's running out. He has to get close to me. 
I'm going to keep getting away from him. I want to keep building distance. Every time he hits me, I'm going to I'm going to go back just a just a wee bit so y'all can see like how to actually do the the, the Oh, do you call it a parry? Is it It's sort of parrying, I I guess a little. Anyway, when someone melees your shield is clash, turn left, like 90 degrees left. Cuz then from their perspective, he does get some blood on me. Thank fuck he wasn't ADSing. If you turn left, the shield is still protecting you. They just have to, you know, sort of predict it. So I'm turning left as he's meleeing me so that he can't get the guaranteed kill. And I'm zapping him every chance I get to slow him down. I want to keep building that distance so he can't melee me. And time does run out. We win on time. What did I even end this game at? 3-3. Three, three. I ended very modestly. Like this was a it was a mid game for me. I've been on a on a bad streak lately. So yeah, that was a brief I wish it was more about the vertical clash, the anti-vertical clash, but you know, you you get what you can. They didn't indulge me the anti-vertical clash. And also just clash in the late game in general is fucking powerful. This is why you need a plan to deal with the clash instead of just hoping you melee her. And uh yeah. Peace.